remind me to never sleep at a truck stop which also sells fireworks. Guys, we are inside Valley of Fire State Park. I pulled over at something called Petrified Logs, which should be self-explanatory. Did a little research. It seems that some logs were washed uh, over here from an ancient forest 225 million years ago. That's a lot of lifetimes ago. Judging from my experience at the undisclosed spring location from the other day, I'm guessing that they fence off this nice petrified log so us humans don't destroy it forever. And here it is. And I'm happy to see that no nincompoop has carved his or her names on this log. This is quite nice. This is also the very first petrified log I've ever seen in my life, out like in nature. So that's cool. Petrified logs rock. For those of you who are curious how far away from Las Vegas this place is, including a stop for tacos, it's about an hour away. Basically it says it was ancient pines 150 million years ago, which contradicts what I read in the brochure thing that they gave me because it said 225 million years so and just for reference uh, there is an exhibit there two here and one that I can see over there it's a nice little stop when you're passing through excitement level well, depends if you've seen this stuff before or not there you go I'm at the top of the at little rock if I'm saying that correctly which uh, is a name for an ancient throwing spear or throwing device right there which is the predecessor to the bow and arrow and also there's EG and Johnny um, gotta say this art rocks Me and Dan the Adventure Bus have parked in like the classic Valley of the Fire. Fire? Valley of Fire? Fire of, I already forgot what, what it's called. <laughs> Valley of Fire. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put him in the shot. I'm going to climb somewhere kind of up there and get uh, a good vantage point because no drones are allowed in the park. Hi. See, if you wave at people, they'll wave back and it makes them smile. Standing on uh, the rock right, right about there. But look at how incredible this is. The wide angle lens really, really intensifies the look of everything. But I can tell you with absolute certainty, this is one of the most beautiful parts of the whole entire park. This is basically why I came here, was this little road right here. So, it was definitely worth the $10 entrance fee. Just had to uh, jump up on Milan to uh, show you guys how diverse and beautiful this whole park is over here we have a different color completely different formations with a bunch of little squiggly colorings over here and then off into the distance it's like you have bright red and whites and pinks and oranges <laughs> and then you have the green of the sagebrush and the desert plants and um, yeah then you have me talking to myself 
on this artificial lawn. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> the epic photo location goes the other direction. So if you want to see what these things look like after some light processing, go check out my Instagram account and you'll see for your very own eyes. Look at this view. We are towards the end of the park. The last thing I want to see is something called Elephant Rock. And uh, I think it's just right up here. There we go. That's it. Well, that certainly was cool. It actually did look just like an elephant. In fact, that elephant rocked. All right, so if you guys didn't know, I grew up in San Diego, and San Diego has, in my opinion, some of the best Mexican food in the country. And here is a place that I grew up eating at, so we gotta stop by. So I found my parking spot, or should I say, I found my home for the night. Uh, I'm in the Virgin River Canyon. I'm half, like on the 15, it cuts through Arizona like a little bit. So I'm halfway through there. There is a Virgin River campground over there for eight bucks a night uh, or $2 uh, for day use. Um, but I think if you have a national parks pass, a day use is waived. I just got off the freeway and I hung a left because I think it's Bureau of Land Management land. And off in the distance, someone has a fireplace going, or I should say a campfire going. And I wanted to show you guys what I got at the taco place. This is basically the food I would eat after surfing in San Diego. This, it might not look pretty right now, but I assure you it tastes great. These are taquitos or three ta rolled tacos with guacamole. Uh, my personal favorite is when they put this white cotija cheese on top. They're sprinkled on top a little bit. And this, you can't really tell, but this is a carne asada burrito. The reason I like it is because it's all meat and it just has guacamole and salsa. Like, that's it. Watch, I'll show you. See what I mean? It's just full of steak. So, anyways, it's super nostalgic. This is the food I grew up on. This is the style of Mexican food I love. Well, one of many, but this is my favorite kind. Um, Put the little sauces on there and stuff. This one's usually hot. This one's usually medium or mild. Um, I think that's it for today. This is an epic, epic parking spot. Look at this. I mean, the beauty just doesn't get much better than this. <laughs>